Okay, so we're down here at Joey's. Actually, this is Rick's house. And we just peeled up all of the floor covering. We got some definite repair work to do. Check this out. Hmm, that ain't supposed to be there. But there's a couple of spots here and here and around the door that we're gonna have to redo. But this yeah, is... Like what, 12, 15? There's the old flooring. 14, yeah. Well, yeah. I'll take another video when we get to that next step. Okay. We've got our blocking in. All the way around. Yeah, now we are ready to lay down decking. All right, we got half of it laid down. Tomorrow, I will be doing that half. Yup, yup, yup. All right, day four. We got all this laid and demoed out and laid down in three days. Today's day four. We just pulled up the rest of the floor right here. We got two pieces already cut to go down and two more to go out here. And then we will be done in this room and we will move into there and do all of that. More updates when they come available. All right, we have completed the subfloor. We are locked down everywhere. It feels good and stable. You could literally get 20 people in here jumping if you wouldn't feel it. <laughs> but yeah, that's it. We're done in here. Our next tour will be going in there but we're going to finish out in here first completely we're going to put all the brand new flooring in uh floor covering and all that but yeah we'll uh update you on the next video all right guys we're starting to lay down the hardwood floor we've got that much of it put in took us about an hour to get this in by the end of the day we'll be over there Yep, yep, yep. Looks really good. All our lines are matching up nicely. All the way down. Yep, yep, yep. More to come. All right. We got that hardwood down. All the way down. It all molded nicely. All the way around we're leaving this runoff right here because our start, our start points down here and we want it to come in and mold around the doorway so we haven't torn in any of this up yet so what we're going to do is hold off on that until we move into here and then we're going to tear all this up get it right and then start right here run the flooring all the way down all the way down and then go that way with it all the way across the room yeah but look at this looks good beautiful flooring and it went down so easy but yep the R should be Okay, we got the floor covering pulled up, a couple of sheets of subflooring up, and we had to stop because we run into that. That break is all the way through on both sides, and it's a load-bearing beam for the floor. 
So we're gonna, before we go any further, we're gonna jam that up, get it right, brace it all off before we pull any, because the plywood back here is what's holding that wall up. I should catch this video for you. <laughs> Here's where I. Okay. Now that we've kind of peeled back a little bit, you can see what's going on. The break is right there. And you can see it dropping and dropping underneath that load bearing wall. So we've got a four by four and a two by eight screwed together to make a T down here. It's coming up to the bottom of that. We're gonna pin it off, jack it up with those bad boys, get it nice and level across there again. And then we're gonna screw that underneath there and put some stiff legs some 4x4 four four posts up underneath that. But that's going to be tomorrow. Okay, so we've got our T-brace up underneath there. It's a 4x4 four four with a 2x8 laying on top of it. Jacked up there. And then we got it jacked up. Let me see if I can see it over here right here but as we're jacking it that whole beam right there is bending down like this there's so much weight right here so we're getting a third bottle jack we're gonna jack it up right there where that's bowing down real bad and try to jack it all up at the same time as we're jacking it up, you can see what's happening to the four joists. They're turning because there's so much weight on there. This one is completely broke free. This one right here is broke free at that end. You see where it's dropped down about an inch. But that's, we're waiting on a bottle jack. And we're going to climb back up underneath there and deal with the stick, scary stuff. All right, we've had to tear all this out because it was all rotted. So we got to replace all those floor joists and then put four by fours underneath right here. Here's the doorway. Here's the room that we just finished. So we're going to put four by four across here like this. There's going to be another one there on those blocks and then possibly one more set over there and then a bunch of three quarter inch plywood. Yep. But that's it for now. Hey guys, we got the first part taken care of all the structural. Check it out. We put in ledger boards and they call it a day or what should we do Oops, sorry. we got ledger boards in everything's nice and tight you see i'm walking across them but yeah next step is to block it all up shore it up all right we got half of the room a little better than half the room laid Gonna tighten up a few more screws, lay these last few things a decking, and then jump in here and demo the bathroom. Demo day. Demo day. Demo day. And then we gotta go in there, but we're seeing the end of it. All right. We have laid the decking in this first section. This is the bedroom and we are beginning demo of the bathroom. We got the commode pulled. We've got everything 
the pumps and everything disconnected from the jet tub. And this is free now. We're going to pull that, put it out back, demo all of this, and then there'll be a bench built back here across the back of the tub. And then we're going to lay floor covering. Well, we're going to do the floor. All this plywood's coming up. And we're going to put new plywood in all the way around in here. There's a little bit of work to be done with it, but yeah. All right. All right. Joe is putting the last piece of subfloor. I got the bathroom in. Nice and tight all the way around. And the next step is the floor covering. We're going to start on that this afternoon after lunch. Down. All right. Hardwood, the floor covering is going in. We got her up to the bathroom. I'm going to do the bathroom tomorrow. I'm going to put a threshold here and kill all that out. Who's going on vacation so they don't have to do the bathroom? This guy right here. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's looking wonderful. All our lines are nice and straight. Yeah, see this control line right here? As I back up, it's all in the line with the old room. And that line will carry straight over the wall. And we ain't got much left. Here we go, folks. We got the bedroom put in, the hallway, the closet, and the bathroom, all the way around. Turned out pretty good. Let me get a, a view from over here. Yeah, look at that. It looks really good. Right on. Last thing is to do the trim. All right, we got the trim in around the doors, all the base. This is all the original trim that was in here we we saved it because it matches so well all through the closet up around the doors everything looks good matched up so I got all the trim in the bedroom the bathroom didn't have any trim because we demoed everything and all the trim it was just terrible we had to just throw it away, but we got to trim out across the bottom here, and back, a little piece back there, a little piece here, some here. We got to figure out a way to fill in that hole right there, and then we're going to box this over to match that, and then put some sort of paneling or something across here to straighten all that out. But it's getting it's getting done. I got all the trim in the bedroom and they can we can go ahead and move everything back in here now and get their bedroom all right. Bathroom won't take that much. I mean there's a little bit of work that needs to be done in there, but yeah. Looking great. It's looking great. Hey everybody, well we finally finished this project. This is all the floor 
the new floor. This, we started in here and we worked our way in here. More new flooring all the way into the closet. We built an oak threshold for the office area. We run the flooring all in here. All, all of it matches up. You see the lines, they carry on in. And then the bathroom, we got the whole floor put in in the bathroom with the trim in it. And then we finally completed the bench. It needs a bunch of cleanup because of the grout work we had to do. It's got to be, got to dry for 16 hours before we can do any cleanup on it. But yeah, it turned out really, really nice. Let's see if I can get a, there we go. Yep. We made all the trim. All this, all that is cut out of a two by four. Yeah, and then we trimmed it all out. Looks good. We're finally completed with it. Been four weeks, it seems like. But we got her done. And Rick and Karen love it. I'll talk to y'all later.